Most of the workforce had left for the day when the warehouse and two other buildings were engulfed by flames. But some workers are believed to have been working overtime and a number have been killed. I came here to search for my uncle who was working here, but I haven't found him. I heard the fire started when the silencer of a machine exploded. Many people ran out of the factory, but a few could not get out. The Aswad Composite Mills factory is in Ghazipur, 40 kilometers north of Dhaka, and it's just one of Bangladesh's 5,000 garment factories. The country is the world's second largest clothing manufacturer, but its factories are notorious for harsh and often unsafe working conditions. Last November, more than 100 workers were killed in a factory fire. And in April, this factory near Dhaka collapsed, killing more than a thousand people. Since then, protests over working conditions have shaken the sector. The authorities and the companies who use the factories, many of them Western, have pledged to improve safety standards. On Thursday, the Accord, a legally binding deal to improve working conditions and safety, was signed by over 90 international brands and retailers, including H&M, Tesco and Benetton. They released a list of more than 1,500 factories they use, although it doesn't show which brands use which factories. What it does detail, though, is information, which will help prioritize factories for safety inspections. The intention is that all inspections will be completed by April next year. But that's clearly not soon enough to prevent more disasters. The Aswad Composite Mills factory was on the list. The cause of the fire there hasn't been confirmed, but it's believed to have started in the knitting section. Officials say water shortages and a lack of nearby fire stations allowed the blaze to escalate. Laura Westbrook, BBC News.